This is three tips in three minutes, and today we're discussing searching for people's names. When researching people, it's important to brainstorm all the likely variants of a person's name so you can be sure not to miss valuable sources that may only refer to them by one version of their name or another. Tip number one, does the person have any titles? For example, when we study the American Revolution, we talk about Lord North, who was Prime Minister of Britain during this period. His birth name was Frederick North, and Lord North was a courtesy title. He was also the second Earl of Guilford, the Prime Minister, and he held various other offices as well. All of these titles could be used to refer to him in different kinds of documents from different times. Tip number two. Does the person go by a pseudonym, an assumed name, or a nickname? Some examples. Samuel Clemens published his famous works of literature under the pen name Mark Twain. Boxer Muhammad Ali legally changed his name from that which was given to him at birth, Cassius Clay. And James Paul McCartney of the Beatles performs under and is more commonly known by his middle name, Paul. Tip number three, women's names. Women's names can get particularly tricky, especially if they're noteworthy activities or their potentially documented activities began prior to their marriage. For example, Maria Sklodowska earned her degrees and began her work in science before she married Pierre Curie. It's possible that she could be variously documented as Maria Sklodowska, Maria Salomea Sklodowska, Maria Sklodowska hyphen Curie, Maria Curie, Marie Curie, Madame Curie, Mrs. Pierre Curie, and so forth. When searching for women, it's important to consider all the possible permutations, or more precisely, all the possible permutations that are likely to be relevant, using Miss, Ms, and Mrs, the woman's first and middle names and initials, her husband's first and middle names and initials, her maiden surname, her married surname, and a combination of her maiden and married surnames. For instance, Jane Doe, wife of John Smith, might be Miss or Ms. J or Jane Doe, Mrs. J or Jane Smith, Mrs. J or Jane Doe hyphen Smith, and as well as Mrs. J or John Smith. And that doesn't even account for middle names. So that's our three tips in three minutes for today. For more tips on searching for people, watch our next two episodes, which discuss searching for foreign people's names and searching for place names.